What's up everyone, my name is Andrew Fong. So today I'll be showing you how you can build your own Wolfram Alpha using Python's TK Inter library and also the Wolfram Alpha's API. So as you can see, we have a mathematical equation visualizer here using TK Inter. After we have uh, input the uh, complex e mathematical equations, it will solve the equation for us, providing the root plot, the number line, and also the two root that will solve the equations. So the inspiration for this project is based on the famous website Wolfram Alpha, which is a computational intelligence website that will solve the mathematical equations and all this kind of uh, math problems for us in a step-by-step -step manner. So if we copy these, the equation here and say solve uh, x to the power 6 plus um, 69x to the power 5 minus uh, 3, 3x to the power 2 minus 2 equals 0. And tell Wolverham Alpha to solve this equation. It will then return us with a, the results that are similar to what we have just displayed with the two roots that we've just seen, which is here, and also the root plot, and those sums and products of roots. So we'll be getting the data from the Wolfram Alpha's API, which uh, you can check out the description box with the links to the API, and you can just go ahead and sign up for a developer account inside the developer portal. So without further ado, let's get started. So now I'll be creating a project using a Replit. For those who don't know, uh, Replit is essentially an online compiler for different program languages. So you don't actually need to install all of in dependencies and dealing with problems that are, uh, for example, version mismatches and all this kind of stuff that will be taken care of by Replit. So let's click New Repl. Uh, we'll be using Python. Let's initialize it to be uh, math uh, visualization or maybe equation visualization. Let's go ahead and create. And let's get in to the environment. So it will take some time to load. And let's go ahead and import uh, Wolfram Alpha, which is the API that we'll be using. And so after signing in the uh, Wolfram Alpha's developer portal, you should be having a, an API key that allows you to uh, fetch data and get access to the uh, environment. So uh, let's go ahead and initialize the API key. And you can just insert your API, insert your API key here, and then let's create a client, which is uh, Wolfram Alpha dot client, and that will take in the API key. So let's run it. So after finish running the program, we need to create a functions that uh, solve mathematical equations by calling the Wolfram Alpha's API. So we have the client now, and we can just go ahead and define a function called math that takes in an equation, and then we'll call the API. So um, the response will be client.query that will take in the equation and then remove the spaces using strip. Let's pass in the parameters uh, to be format. 
and then we need the images and plain text. So it's image, comma, plain text. And for more information, you can check out the documentations inside at Wolverine Alpha. That will also be in the description. And then let's print the response. Okay. So I've pasted my API key here, pass call the function math, and using the equation that we've just uh, created. Make sure they're in string. And let's run this program. So we got a JSON formatted data. It is hard to for us to see uh, what's going on, but when you click on the uh, links that are appearing here, we can actually see the um, plots that appears inside Wolfram Alpha. That is similar to what we will need. But uh, for this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the root plot and also the number line. So let's go ahead and do some uh, data manipulation and get only the data that we wanted. So we can initialize a dictionary to be data. And then for p in response dot plots for uh, s in p dot sub plots if uh, s dot image dot alt dot lower is equal to root plot which is what we're concerned then we will initialize a a root plot attribute and takes in the image source which is s dot image dot source. Otherwise, if s dot uh, image dot alt dot lower is equal to the number line, okay, then we will initialize uh, the number line attribute, or just number line. To be the uh, image source, and for the result, which is the roots, two roots, or the two solutions, we will initialize the results attribute to it, and that will be the i dot text for i in list response dot results and zero, the first results and let's print out the data to see if we have correctly uh, get everything so we got a return of a dictionary which includes our root plot, the number line and also the results so let's click the link to see if it works and this is the root plot that we have just uh, needed and also the number line okay signaling the two roots okay that both works so now we can go ahead and create the uh, simple UI for this project so now after we have successfully get all the data that we have wanted we need to create a user interface using TK Inter. So let's go ahead and include all the necessary uh, packages. So import uh, base64, import uh, tk inter as tk, and from url lib dot request, import url open. So that will open the, uh, the two url for us and translate it to uh, images using the base 64 and the whole thing will be represented using the uh, tkinter so let's go ahead and 
create the user interface. Let's set the root to be uh, tk dot tk and roots title to be uh, math math visualization. Okay, let's set the width to be five hundred, height to be five hundred, and then uh, x to be fifty. Y will be 50 or me 100 and root dot geometry the parameters that we have just just initialized which is width height X and Y okay and let's create the canvas using canvas uh, tk dot canvas. Let's set the background color to be white, and configure the canvas using config, config, and then height to be. Uh, 350. Let's pack the whole thing using canvas.pack and let's see the results using root.make loop. Okay, we have missed uh, should be URL lib. My apologies. So now we have a tiny uh, TK in the box uh, with the title of math uh, visualization and a uh, white background canvas. Nice. So let's create the uh, entry box, which will uh, which the users will enter their equations there. So let's do entry uh, one equals uh, TK dot entry root. That will map it to the root canvas then after the entry box we will go ahead and canvas dot uh, create window uh, that will take in the coordinates 150 15 window uh, equals entry 1 and let's also create the um, let's also create the uh, submission button so whenever you submit the press the submit button the equation will be sent and the API call will be uh, on the way so let's do uh, submit equals tk dot uh, button and the text will be solve And let's set the height to be um, 1 and width to be 3. And then also do canvas create window. This uh, will be 280 and then 15. And the window will be submit. Okay, let's run it to see if it works. Okay, so we now have the tiny entry box which we can type our equation here and also the soft button. But now the soft button doesn't do anything as we haven't linked it to the uh, function which should be a uh, math.equation. So let's go ahead and uh, go to uh, submission submit button and let's type in the command to be math and for math we can just do uh, print the equation and now we can we don't actually need the equation here as we will call the solve 
as we will call the math equation using the soft button so we can just delete this one and when we actually click the soft button we will receive the input from the uh, entry box so we don't need the equation input here and let's set the equation input to be um, the entry one dot get so let's print the equation out to see if it works we can just uh, refresh the whole thing and run it again so let's type um, uh, solve x to the power six, 5 uh, minus 6x uh, plus 4 equals 0 let's solve it and that should print out the equation here so it works. So now as we can uh, successfully get inputs from the entry box and solve the equations, we can now go ahead and deal with the outputs of the program. So let's go ahead and, and set the image one's URL to be uh, data root plot. And same goes to the number line. We can also print the results of the uh, mathematical equations or the roots of the equations uh, using canvas.createText. So let's set the x, y to be uh, 175 and 320. Fill to be um, dark blue and the font to be um, Arial 15 and the text will be the results that we have just uh, created so let's uh, try a random equation x to the power 2 minus 5x plus 6 equals 0 let's solve and we have the two roots shows so it works and now let's deal with the two uh, images which is the root plot and also the number line so uh, that's the tricky part we need to do uh, convert the images into byte using uh, URL open which we have just imported the package so it's uh, basically image one byte equals URL open open the image URL and then dot read after this we have to convert it to bytes which is image uh, 1 b64 equals uh, base 64 dot encode bytes to be image one bytes, which is here, and then that will be the photo, photo that we need. Photo one equals ck dot um, photo image, and the data will be the encoded image one so let's try canvas dot photo one equals photo one and canvas dot create image image uh, let's set the x to be 10 y to be 30 and then image to be the canvas dot uh, photo one. Let's set the anchor to be northwest. And we can also create the text using the command we have just 
uh, mentioned, which is create text. And in 75, it's like 40, and fill to be dark blue as well. Font to be, we can just copy this whole thing actually. Text will be um, root plot. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. Let's give another random equation 5x uh, to the power 2 minus 89 equals 0. Solve. So we have the root plots and also the two roots, which is not fully shown here. Let's go ahead and deal with the image two, which is essentially the same. So we can just copy the whole thing, and then let's do. You can press Command to do with uh, all the ones and change it to twos. Oh, I missed one. And then this will be the same as well. Photo 2, photo 2. And then we can do the same thing as well. So the image will be photo 2. Let's change the text to be number line. This one should be um, 2040. See if it works now. To the power two plus five x plus six uh, equals zero. So there we go. We have the root plots, the number line. We have the two roots printed out uh, very clearly. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something uh, using the uh, Python's TK Inter library and how easily you can use it to create uh, visualizations or maybe small gadgets and graphic uh, user interface. However, uh, this project is by no means a finalized one. There are actually some features that I haven't implemented. For example, uh, if we go ahead and change this to be uh, x to the power uh, 5 so you can see the new plot will overlay on the whole plot and every time you call the math function or otherwise every time you press the soft button you should actually uh, clear the outputs of the previous equation so that it won't get clamped up and the other uh, enhancement for this project is the input validation which uh, if you actually type in a random expression instead of an equation the whole program will crashes so for example we type in x to the power 3 plus 7x minus 9 this is actually an expression instead of an equation so there won't be any answers to this uh, expression and we will fail to get the root plots as the mathematical equations fail to be solved by Wolfram Alpha and that will be input validation and make sure that that is in a legitimate uh, equation before we click solve and call the API. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, the whole uh, entire source code will be posted on GitHub. So feel free to check out my description for the links to uh, the Wolfram Alpha API documentations and also the GitHub links. And if you like this type of tutorial, please uh, like and subscribe and comment down below what type of uh, videos or ideas that you want me to make a tutorial out of. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!